guys and welcome to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make bread slime, soft serve slime, and fishbowl slime. All of these slimes have such fun and unique textures and they're so much fun to play with and today I'm going to be sharing with you my recipe. But first, if you're new to my channel, then hi, I'm Alina. Be sure to hit that red subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any new videos. And without further ado, let's get started. Alrighty guys, so as always before we start, I'm going to take you down to my slime and squishy area where I can go ahead and pick out my supplies. But first, I'm going to show you the guinea pigs. So here are the two piggies, Snickers and Cinnamon. They are both super sweet. Now I'm going to show you a couple clips of them having floor time earlier this week. Moving on, now I'm going to take you over to my slime and squishy area where I can go ahead and pick out my supplies and I am going to be using all sorts of kinds of different ingredients so I'm just going to quickly show you what I'm going to be using. So the first slime that I'm going to be making is a bread slime. Now this slime tutorial was actually a special request by Maria Libby, so thank you so much for your comment. I love bread slime, it just has such a fun and unique texture. I've never felt anything like it before and it's just so much fun to play with. So to start off with the bread slime, the first thing I'm going to do is pour my desired amount of glue into the bowl. Next to make this slime extra bubbly and crunchy, I'm going to add a few pumps of foaming hand soap. Now to give this slime a super nice and toasty bread color, I'm going to go ahead and add some brown paint, but you can also use food coloring. Now it's time to activate the slime. If you want my activator recipe, it will be in the description box down below. Remember to add this slowly so we don't end up with a stiff slime. As soon as the slime is completely activated, next I went ahead and added some dry instant snow to give the slime that nice bread texture. You don't want to add too much snow or else the slime will turn into a cloud slime. I added about two teaspoons into mine and it seemed to be a pretty good amount. Now to make this slime even more soft and buttery, next I'm going to mix in some Model Magic. The reason why I'm adding lotion into Model Magic is because air dry clay is pretty hard to mix in the slime, so adding the lotion is going to soften it up. After mixing in the lotion, the clay became so nice and soft. It was so spreadable and creamy and it was so much fun to mix in the slime. After mixing in the clay, the color of the slime did lighten up a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and mix in some more brown paint to darken it up. 
I also still didn't feel like the slime was soft enough, so I went ahead and mixed in some lotion. So here is the bread slime all completed. I am so happy with how this slime turned out. It's so unique. I've never felt anything like it before. It's so creamy and spreadable. It's so nice for poking. It's so soft and I had a ton of fun playing with this slime. The next slime that I'm going to be making is this super cute soft serve slime. So to start off with the soft serve slime, the first thing I'm going to add is some white Elmer's school glue. Now because this is going to be a thick slime, I'm going to mix in some Elmer's glue all in there just to make the slime extra thick. Next to make the slime nice and fluffy, I'm going to go ahead and mix in some shaving cream. Now to make the slime extra stretchy, I'm going to go ahead and mix in a couple pumps of lotion. If you guys would like to add any paint or food coloring to the slime, now would be a good time to do so. I'm not going to color my slime because I thought it would be super fun if this slime was a vanilla soft serve slime, but it's completely up to you on what color you'd like to make it. Now I'm going to go ahead and activate the slime. And again, if you would like my activated recipe, it will be in the description box down below. Remember to add this slowly. We do not want a stiff slime. Now to give the slime that nice creamy soft serve texture, I'm going to go ahead and mix in some cornstarch. Now there isn't really an exact measurement to this, just keep adding it until it's the consistency you like. I found this really cute miniature ice cream bowl and spoon at the grocery store the other day and I thought it was so cute and I could totally use it for something. I'm so glad I got it because this slime goes perfectly with it and they look so cute together. So here's the vanilla soft serve slime all completed. I am so happy with how this slime turned out. It totally reminds me of soft serve ice cream. This slime turned out so soft and spreadable, so stretchy, so drizzly. I had so much fun playing with this slime and it was a ton of fun to make. And now the last and final slime that I'm going to be making is a fishbowl slime. To start off with the fishbowl slime, the first thing I'm going to add is my desired amount of clear glue. Next, to make this slime extra soft and a little more stretchy, I'm going to go ahead and mix in some water. Now to make this slime super fun and sparkly, I'm going to go ahead and mix in some glitter, but this is completely optional. Now I'm going to go ahead and activate the slime. And again, if you would like my activated recipe, it will be in the description box down below. Remember to add this slowly. We do not want a stiff slime. And 
finally, to give the slime that nice crunchy fishbowl texture, I'm going to go ahead and mix in some fishbowl beads that I found at Michael's. So here's the fishbowl slime all completed. I am so happy with how this slime turned out. The texture is so unique and it's probably one of my favorite slimes that I have right now. This slime feels so nice. The bubble pops are amazing. It's so crunchy. I love the color. It's so sparkly and I had a ton of fun playing with this slime. guys that is it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give this video a big thumbs up be sure to let me know in the comments down below which slime was your favorite and again be sure to hit that red subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any new videos and if you would like to check out my instagram page i'll be sure to leave a link down below i hope you guys have an amazing day and i'll see you in the next one bye